took some of his time away. Now bringing it back is Hunt, the 19-year-old, who is the youngest Bronco, first grade Bronco ever. Yeah, it's obviously exciting times for, for everyone involved in the in the football club as well as the league, I guess. Um, you know, at the end of the day, he's a dual international, as I've already said a few times. And uh, just having someone of his qualities and experience around our young group has been been extraordinary. Pretty humble guy, he fits in, he's team first, he's everything you want in a player, which sometimes you may not get with that elite guy, but yeah, it's been a breath of fresh air and we're probably looking forward to getting some footy under our belts now, so. Quite a full circle moment for me. Um, feel behind us, so last time I set foot on here was probably 17, 18 years ago when I was a 17 year old, so. Playing junior footy back then, but now obviously preparing for some senior games, uh, you know, for the Mighty Magpies, it's an exciting time for me. Yeah, I was going to ask why the Magpies, but is it just, it feels a bit like home, does it? It does. I mean, it's obviously the, the natural uh, connection there with my junior club and the senior footy, um, South, South Logan Magpie. But um, look, I, I had a chat to Wayne, uh, well, you know, text Wayne, because I've been seriously thinking about getting into coaching over the last couple of years, and, um, you know, he recommended that. South was a good option for me just because of Jim McCallum, the CEO, and said he'd support my endeavours. Um, so I caught up with Jim and Steve, uh, you know, they were happy to have me come on down and here we are. What is it that has you interested in that side of, of the game? Oh, just to give back, hey. Um, and like I understand the journey that I've had from a footy perspective, firstly, is, uh, you know, 17 years across three different sports at the top playing for some of the best coaches, playing for some coaches but that probably didn't achieve what they would like to. Um, I've always been a student of, of, of the games that I've played and obviously my own game as well in those different games. So I feel like I've learned a lot. Uh, I've got a bit of IP that I would love to give back and um, you know, what better way for me to give back to the junior sport that you know, gave me everything and that's rugby league. So. And you mentioned Wayne there, but what a good mentor to have and someone in your corner to, to promote you as a coach. What advice has he given you? Oh look, look Wayne, um, Wayne, Wayne, funnily enough, uh, he doesn't have to say a lot to sort of get his message across, right? Um, but um, no, he's given me some, oh, I mean his support is just like, told me I'm an impressive guy, like, and that, you know, I'm my own man and that, you know, whatever I do, I'll, I'm sure that I'll make a success out of it. And, you know, it's, I guess, Having him as a 17 year old for the better part of seven years as a head coach um, is probably you know, an experience that you would love all kids to have, but unfortunately, you know, not every kid gets it. Um, you know, the master coach is able to connect with you know, any generation uh, purely because I think he understands uh, the human element of, of, I guess, life, but also footy as well. And um, you know, that's something that you know, I'm definitely going to take a leaf out of his book and you know, I'll, I'll definitely be pushing uh, to be a connected coach with my players and obviously bring a lot of the technical aspects that I've picked up along the way as well. So Probably for, for us as a club, we're just looking to transition him into that. So we'll start with our junior coach education nights and bring him along to that. We'll obviously do any courses that we need to do with him. And like he said the other day, he's still got two years of playing in him, hopefully. So that's probably more his focus at the moment. And then there's always that opportunity with our junior development program to obviously start him in that coaching journey, which is unbelievable for our club to have that tag as well, yeah. And you're part of a squad here. There's quite a few young players as well. Have they sort of picked your brain about things yet or? Yeah, yeah, yeah they have. <laughs> oh, they haven't been shy, um, but it's great to see. Look, um, if I was in their position and I had say, you know, a player that uh, of 17 years come back, you know, you'd, a lot of these guys have ambitions to go and play uh, top tier footy uh, in the NRL. And, you know, they're very eager, they're very keen, which is what Steve and Jim mentioned to me before I actually set foot on the training paddock was you've got a young team there that's willing to, you know, willing to learn and willing to have a go. And it's, it's uh, they're, not, they're not wrong. You know, the young boys are very keen. I've been helping them out and only looking, you know, looking forward to continuing that relationship as the year goes on. Uh, a lot of them probably don't really know his early rugby league days, especially some of our really young guys, but just the things he does around, like getting his body ready for training, his recovery, doing extras after training. He's normally the last one to walk out with a few of our spine guys after passing and kicking and all that sort of stuff. So just those little things around getting your body and your mind ready to play elite level has been invaluable to watch the guys actually watch someone do it rather than getting a coaching staff to tell them to do it, obviously. so. 
Obviously, you're teaching them a lot of things, but are they teaching you anything as well? Like, has the game changed at all, or like some new skills that they've been bringing to the squad? Oh, look, you're always learning. Um, obviously, there's a you know, couple of rule changes which have uh, weren't around when I was uh, playing, I think, 11 years ago, uh, which would be interesting. But you know, the sixer game rule, which you know I was watching uh, the games last year, I think, has added a, a good dynamic to the game, opened it up a little bit more. So, you know, that'll be a, a bit of a difference. But you know, from for the most part, the rugby league's the rugby league, right? Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to get back into it. I know um, physically it's going to be probably a lot more different challenge than rugby, uh, you know, just with the constant contact. But, you know, I wouldn't say it's going to take me too long to, to get back into the group of that. He's, he's obviously got the skills of a fullback, probably not the legs of a fullback anymore. So, but, you know, anywhere that he sort of fits in, whether he's got a, a different number on his back, we'll come up with different ways to get him in the game. But. He's got a skill set that obviously everyone knows he'll play one of sort of two or three positions. So we'll see where we land up after a few trials. Looking forward to round one. I think it's at home. Um, I think maybe against Burley. I'm not too sure. Steve mentioned that, but uh, looking forward to playing round one. Uh, might even get some trial time as well if it, if it works out.